So what we're going to be covering today is how to find and remove your personal profile from Spokio.com. What Spokio.com is, is a um, information aggregation website that pulls in information from uh, all public domain uh, information that's out there about people in the United States, uh, whether it be on social networks, uh, real estate records, um, phone book information, and as you can see, you can search by name, email, phone number, or just by typing in your friend's name. So we're going to go ahead and start with searching for your information. Um, I'm going to use myself. I've already removed my main account, um, but they have some old information about me. Uh, from when I lived in Florida. As you can see, doing a search for Kenny Adams, kind of a general na generalized name, there's 2,741 results for Kenny Adams. We're going to go ahead and scroll down to Florida. And I lived in the Orlando to Daytona Beach area, so I'm going to go ahead and click that. And it has it broken down by area, and we have Palm Coast, Florida, which is where I grew up. Um, so they have Post Tree Lane. I lived there for over 20 years. Um, so we're going to go ahead and use this one as our first example. That is going to be all right here. Now it has photos and profiles. Now these may be pictures that were shared with uh, possibly um, with either old MySpace accounts or other accounts that were there. So. Um, I'm going to go ahead and scroll down a little bit. Now it has some basic information, uh, you know, so you know, early 30s, married, single family home. Now, granted, when I lived at Post Tree Lane, I wasn't any of these. I wasn't married or in my early 30s, but still, uh, they have just a rough esti uh, estimate. Now, it um, whenever you look at the uh, detailed version, which a lot of the detailed information you have to pay for. Um, but they still have, you know, a, a, an overview. Um, you know, they have the local area. Um, they break it down by uh, ethnicity, uh, occupation, the whole nine. So getting to the meat of it, let's go ahead and remove it. So we're going to go ahead and click and copy the URL for the user. We're going to go ahead and go to spokio.com slash privacy. They've partnered with uh, Reputation Defender. Now this is something that is pretty, uh, uh, it's pretty good. It looks like they're trying to do, you know, something right, but I still think that this is a bit too much information that's out there in the public domain. Uh, I don't want this to be searchable. So I put in the URL here and then I put in the email address and then I'm going to go ahead and type in N -D -N -F, the CAPTCHA and hit remove listing. Now, it's going to go ahead and send me an email, which I have already received. Now, I'm going to, you have this part to completely rem uh, the removal process. Please click this URL or paste it into your browser. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get this. All right, now this result has been removed. So let's go ahead and go back to the beginning. Let's do a search. And let's go down to Florida. And let's go here. And let's go down to Palm Coast. Now, uh, as you can see, it's having a little bit of a difficulty pulling up the Palm Coast listing. Now, my dedicated listing has been, for that address has been removed. It's just taking some time for it to uh, be pulled out of this search criteria. It's going to take a few minutes for uh, this to actually disappear. It'll go back to just one. Now, that other one is also me. I'm going to go ahead and uh, later on and take care of that as well. But that's how you go about removing your Spokio listing. Um, if you have any questions, you can email me at Kenny at eventsunlimited.com. That's Kenny at E V I N C E U N L I M I T E D.com. Thanks and uh, 